quick word of caution for anyone who doesn't want to see this. This is going to be a quail butchering video. I just wanted to let you know right up front before you get into it. So if you don't want to watch that and you don't want to see that, that's all this video is going to contain. So you might want to skip this one. And if you are here to learn how, and I'm learning how to, to butcher these quail, let's get into it. Hey y'all, Amy here, welcome back to the farm. Today, we're gonna be butchering quail. I am learning right along with y'all. These are Miriam's quail. She's coming, she's gonna be butchering them, and I am going to be showing you how she does it. And we are going to learn together. So let's go. All right, y'all, I'm here with Miriam, and we're sorting through, well, she's sorting through the quail for which ones she's gonna keep for her breeding stock and which ones are gonna go. Now, with quail, what she does is it takes 18 days to hatch quail incubate and hatch and then it's eight weeks eight weeks till they're big enough to butcher is that they just start laying eggs too yes okay so okay so what she does is she's looking at them to tell male from female and can you tell us how you tell the difference there is a okay i'm gonna hold it right here hold it right here in front of us right here there is a sack on a boy right below the cloak, um, between the cloak and what would be a vent on a girl. And it's a, usually a big sack that you can feel kind of squishy. That's an easy way to tell a boy, but if you pull it back and you push just a little bit, Hold this is a girl. A this is a girl. Push okay. just a little bit, you would have a white foam come out for a boy, but this is definitely a girl. Okay. And so, what she's gonna do is go through and pick the ones that are the heaviest, best weight, look the best, um, and pick out her breeding stock, and then all the rest are gonna be processed. Remember when we moved them here, we already sorted and yeah, put them did. into breeders. Yeah, we did. So there shouldn't be an extra amount of boys to girls in that ratio. So when they first hatch, Miriam puts them on a medicated quail feed. What's the medication that it is? Coban. Coban. Mm -hmm. And then when they're getting close, a couple weeks out from butcher, uh, we switched them to a high protein game bird feed. You don't have to. Uh, the Coban says that it's okay to give up until processing, but we went ahead and took them off the medicated and put them on game bird. No withdrawal period for them. Yeah, there's no withdrawal period for the coban. Okay. Um, when you flip it over, it has a little pocket right here, mm -hmm. and you can feel that. But if you squeeze on it, you get the white foam, and that is the sperm that he shares with his girl. Okay. And that's how but it's a real go. soft pocket right underneath the cloak. What's the, what does that mean? The cloak is that little triangle piece that you find on the bottom of the chicken um, where the tail feathers grow from yeah they're on quail and okay. it's just a cloak okay so the process she has here is scissors this is for like head feet feathers it'll be swished here and then it'll be put into an ice bath before it's put into a bag all right y'all i'm not going to actually show the killing of the quail um, because it's YouTube, but what we're gonna do what she'll do is she's gonna use these scissors and She's just gonna snip the head just right behind the just show right where She holds it like that. And she snips it right there Okay, and then I'll bring you right back. All right, so now we, she snips off the legs right at the joint Which there's no meat on the wings at all. So you should have snipped those right off. Okay. And then underneath or at the top? Anywhere within here that you want to, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Anywhere in here you want to grab, um, to okay. grab it. Like so that's just the bottom of it. And so right at the neck. You're going to just. 
You just grab the skin and it just pulls apart. And it just peels off. She said it's better to do this dry than wet because the feathers, I guess, stick to everything. Mm -hmm. They're very tender. Back. So you gotta kind of be careful not to tear the meat off of it at the same time because it peels out easy. Okay. But it'll also pull that meat right off of there. What did you call that back part, the tail? Cloak. The cloak. Is it because it sits over the vent? That's just what I've heard them call it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what the only thing I know it called. I might be saying it wrong. Okay. I'm just going to cut that off right across the back. The little tail part mm -hmm. it's called the cloak and then she this is when you swish it in the water right yes off as much as i can you can always trim it up more of course whenever you're done but i don't like that piece there it's still got some feathers stuck in it The wetter your hands get, the harder it is to get the feathers off. That one over there is for your scissors when you're ready to do the next part. Thank you. And I don't worry about getting a lot of that because we're going to cut right there through that. So that's not even going to okay. be part of it. Then I turn it so that it's facing, um, the neck part's facing me. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your scissors right underneath the skin and just go right down next to the spine. You don't want to dig down into the bird with it. Because then you'll cut the guts. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just want to get it right along the underside. Okay, once you got that part, you can go right underneath the neck and just go straight down to the cavity mm -hmm. and just run your thumb straight along the underside of it and it all just pulls right up. Look at the eggs. There's the eggs. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. Hold on, it's not. But there's where that one's starting. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And then they got a big heart for a little bird. They do. Okay, so then I'll go in and make sure I get everything else out. The lungs. Um, I already got the lung on that side and that side. It came all out at once. So. Okay. So where would the lungs be if it didn't come out? Where do you scrape it out? They would be of? literally right here, okay. and you would just stick your nail under it and just pull them right out. Same okay. Thing there. And then you can look and see what else you want to get off of there. If there's anything more, okay. that's pretty good. And then you rinse it again. It's going to be rinsed and swished and washed uh, before you bag it up, but this is just a quick rinse of it. And then it's you awesome. want to get it in an ice bath as quick as possible. Right. That also, This also helps in cooling it down quicker by rinsing it while you're doing it. So it's not just keeping it clean, it's being able to cool it down so it doesn't stay hot and okay. All right. Okay, there are several to do, so I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse, and we're just gonna keep doing what you just saw several times. 
but I'm gonna stop it if we see if there's an egg like a, where you can see it bigger like a better process of seeing the egg development I'll stop and I'll show you that but otherwise you're just gonna watch us do them all I told you I was going to show you if it was cool. So look at the look at the line of them here. Can you see? Big, smaller, smaller, smaller. Oh, you got one too. Can you see the progression of them? Isn't that cool? And then there's all these tiny little ones. It's pretty cool. Okay, they're all here, they're all done. Now I'm going to rinse them, like an extra rinse, and then I'm gonna bag them and put them in the freezer. All right y'all, there we have it. I have learned how to do quail. It's actually really, really simple. It's a little bit time consuming, but it's super easy to do. Um, I hope y'all learned something and uh, until next time, keep on the sunny side.